Hi friends, so this is our fourth lecture. Now we will see January 2nd, 1977. That is the climax. Now let's see. Before that, the Jamil is huge, like a giant, gigantic structure. Gigantic hills, yes. big, huge hills. Uh, this skyscrapers you have come out of seen now. They are gigantic structures, big structures. Stone jib. A jib is, you can see this one. This is a jib. Means this is this is the mast, this is the sail, this is sail, this is mast. That is the jig is fixed just in front of the in front of the uh, mast. That is to, to okay, it can, if you remove this, what will happen is the boat will slow down, the ship will slow down. So that is stone jib. Endless, enormous. Endless means continuously coming. Enormous means again big, huge, enormous. In size, very really large as a thing. Enormous. Enormous size. You see. Dragons are of enormous size. Enormous. Large, very large. That's it. Endless means not ending. That's it. Then screaming. The terrible sound that you make. Suppose at night you see a ghost. You are alone. You are alone in the cemetery, suppose. <laughs> in a cemetery. And you find a ghost getting up. Then the sound that you produce will be screaming sound. Some children scream now. When they see ice cream, that is, unless the last means beat with the beat with force, that is lash means, or throw with the force, lashing. Next, mooring, mooring means tying, tying a ship or a boat to an anchor. So the rope used for that is mooring rope, he said. And in a loop, in a loop means. See, this is the this is the way to make a loop. Suppose this is a rock. Rope will be like this. So this is the loop. This will be called a loop. Understand? At the end of this a circle like this. Loop, that is it. Then a stern means, see this is the stern, the back, the rear part of the ship. This one. This is the front, this is the back, the back of the ship. That is stern means stern. And now next, double dash. Double dash. You can tie, uh, you fold the rope and tie it. Then it will double dash. Means instead of tying with single rope, you make it double and then tie. That is called a double dash. Uh, Dawn oil skins. Dawn. Dawn means to wear, put on. Dawn, that is past tense. Oil skin. Oil skin means very thick cotton clothes, waterproof with the oil, waterproof. Waterproof thick um, cotton clothes. Impending disaster. Disaster. Yes. Impending means coming. Impending. Impending floods. Coming floods. Impending, a kind of warning it is. Impending. When you find the sky is overcast with the clouds, then there is a warning. Now. Then you will say, that is a sign of impending stormy rain, impending, coming. Ominous silence, disaster, you know, the disaster. Tragic uh, happening, tragic event is a disaster. Ominous silence, silence. ominous threatening. Woman comes from the word woman. So bad woman, good woman is you know. so the woman is threatening, threatening silence. Towered after the ship. After means this part, near the back part of the ship. After, after the ship, you can see now this. This is the back. This is after. After means very near to that. Something after. Towering, like that. almost. That is covering the entire aft. That is covering. Covering. Like a tower, you can see. Crest means the top part of it. Crest. 
explosion shook the deck. Deck is the floor of the ship. Explosion, a terrible sound. Explosion, shaking the deck. And then torrent. Torrent means uh, high speed, high water flowing in high speed or highest speed. Suppose all of a sudden a dam breaks, then torrents will come. Torrents. What will be moving in torrents? Flowing in torrents. That is torrent means. Or prop out. Prop out means my head prop out. This, this summit, they came up like this. Prop out. Prop out. Listen. Capsizing means turning upside down. In water, especially. Boat capsized, turn upside down. Hurl, throwing violently, hurl. Some people you can say, no, throw their weapons violently. <coughs> this is hurling, hurling. Yes. Uh, boom. Boom is a pole, P O E pole. See? A pole. This uh, boom. Then a uh, toss up. Tossing, you have seen tossing, right? Suppose you are in a torrent, you will be tossed up like Sometimes you come up, then you come up, come up, go down, like this. That is called tossing, tossing up. Like a rag doll. A rag means an old torn clothes doll made of. A doll made of rags. That is a rag. So that means I had no control over myself. The floods, the torrents, Sundays will take, bring me up. And then it will take me down. Again, again I come up, <laughs> I have no idea, no control of this. Understand? So that is uh, this. I think the only number is there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, then, then, let's begin. So I saw the other day when I was standing on the seashore, so gigantic wave is coming. Storm gym, that's a technical word. <laughs> Endless, enormous. We come across endless and enormous difficulties in our life. Screaming. The child went out screaming. The child went out screaming. Lashed. The master lashed the slave. The master lashed the slave. Mooring. Time. I saw captain mooring his boat. Tying is what to an anchor. Give me a strong place to which you can tie. So I saw a captain. In a loop, he made the rope in a loop and then threw it. And stern, again the technical term, you can say stern of my ship. Double dashed. If you want to secure something, you should double dash it. Single rope will not work, double rope is required. Doubling the rope, so to say. You double the rope and die, that is double dust. And uh, don't oil skins, don't close. That is impending disaster. So when they saw uh, the heavy rains, when there was heavy rain, 24 hours raining, it was a uh, Warning for an impending disaster. It's a sign of impending disaster. Do you remember last year, 9th August? No. 9th August, we had floods, terrible floods, torrents, torrents and floods. So, so 19, 9th August, 8th August evening, almost we knew we had a, a sign, there was a sign of impending disaster. And that impending disaster was the floods. An ominous silence. Some days before some terrible thing happens, there will be silence. And that silence is ominous silence. Ominous silence. When you, when you get into a cemetery, what you experience is an ominous silence. Anything can happen then. Any ghost can come and catch hold of your neck or any part of your body. So that is ominous silence. Tired the after of the ship, towered. So you can say that the, a storm towered the crust of a multi-storied building. Crust means top part. 
a stone tower. This tower means it's covered like this. And then crust means the top part. Crust same here. Explosion shook the deck. deck. So during when uh, Sundays the thunder will shake your body. So the thunder. Thunder heavy. Thunder and rain coming together. It will shake your body. So that, that is an explosion. Thunder is an explosion. So that will shake the deck. That means the floor. Torrent. You remember 9th August last year. There were, there were torrents in many parts of the many parts of Kerala. Torrents. Because dams were opened and then water gushed forth, so to say. With high speed. Gushing with the high speed. That is torrent means torrents. Propel. I told you that, yeah, that, that is propping out this. Capsizing. Thieves do that. Thieves do. They hide. And when they say when when they see that situation is right, then they prop up like this. Prop up. Uh, so then this is capsizing, prop up this. Capsizing. Capsizing means turning upside down. See? You remember uh, uh, in a board capsize our great poet Kumar Nasan writes. So it was accident, it was actually capsizing. The word capsized is turned upside down, capsized. That's a very sad day for us. Her, Miss Thro. See, uh, you will find the uh, uh, fighters now. They will be through hurling their weapons. Hurling, throwing. Hurl, throw. Boom means a portal. Tossed up. Figurative language also you can say tossed up. I am being tossed up in my life. Because my faith is like that. Tossing. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Rag dog. Means a dog made of rag. So sometimes we will think that our life is like a rag dog. Rag dog. We have no control of it. We have no control of it. I think it's now clear to you all those words. Now with this, we end up. January 2, the most faithful day of their journey. At dawn on January 2, 1977, the waves were gigantic. Impending disaster. We were sailing with only a storm jib and we were still making eight knots. Eight knots. Knots means a uh, nautical mile. That means a unit used to measure distance distance a unit made to measure distance at sea equivalent to 1.52 meters you have got units for measuring measuring distance on land is mile or kilometers measuring distance in sea that is knots nautical measures and then we were sailing with only a stone jib as the ship rose to the top of each wave, so waves coming, ship will go there, and the next ship will come down. We could see endless, enormous seas rolling towards us, and the screaming of the wind and spray was painful to the ears. Spraying water, the wind screaming, making a sound, a terrible, eerie sound, screaming. Then to slow the boat down, we drop the stone bit. That means they, they drop the legs. So that it won't increase the speed. Dropping. As a, like this. So the stone tip is like this now. After Sunday you will find it like this. So they drop it. That means it will not it will not increase the speed. Going forward now. So reduce the speed. And then what happens? Drop the stone tip and lash the heavy mooring rock in a loop as uh, across the stone, stern. So they made a heavy rock. They looped it. Right? And that loop they threw like this. To make the back of this. To tie it like this. Hold it like this. So that to control the slow it down. 
slow down. That's it. Just as we change gear in like that. Or suppose somebody is running, you catch hold of him, say back, draw him back, then the speed will be reduced. Exactly like this. The back of the ship, they threw and they hold, they held it like this. Then there we double dashed everything. Doubling a rock, we tied everything. When through our life raft skill drills, that is, um, they are they are practicing the way how to uh, save themselves in case the ship is wrecked. Life raft drills attach life lines, don oil skins and life jackets and wait. Not ready. Ready for the fight. That's the thing. Slow down the ship, oil skins more, then double dashed everything so that it should not go away. Uh, double security so to say, life raft drills, say small boats, uh, life, life boats, that is life rafts. Uh, raft means a wooden uh, structure that is floating on the, on the ship, on what is. So here it is a small boats maybe, attack life lines and then don't get ready. The first indication of impending disaster came at about 6 p.m. with an ominous sight. 6 p.m. silence. Everything is silent. And then what happened? Next is the description of all those things. Impending disaster, the coming disaster, impending. We have disaster waiting for us. The wind dropped. And the sky immediately grew dark. Then came a growing roar. An enormous cloud. Toward the aft of the ship. With horror, I realized that it was not a cloud, but a wave like, like no other I had ever seen. Thinking, I thought that was a dark, then something dark rolling towards us. I thought that it was a huge cloud, but it was not. It appeared perfectly vertical, like, exactly like this. So because usually the waves come like this, in this way. But this is vertical like this. Perfectly vertical, it appeared. Perfectly uh, vertical. And then, and the horror, so uh, growing immediately, grew dark. Uh, then came the growing uh, roar. And an enormous cloud towered after the ship. With horror, I realized that it was not a cloud, but a wave like no other I had ever seen. It appeared perfectly vertical and almost twice the height of other waves with frightful breaking crest. Crest means frightful threatening. Crest the top part of it. If it breaks, what is that? See that? That means definitely it is going to the that is going to hurt the ship, break it into pieces. The beautiful, the wooden hand beauty now will become into, it is going to become logs of, logs and logs of wood. That's all, breaking crust. The roar increased to a thunder. As the stern moved up, see, this path moved up like this. This is the stern moved up. As the stern moved up to the face of the way, like this. And for a moment, I thought we might ride over it. Thought that we will be able to ride over it, cross it. But the tremendous explosion shook the deck, floor of the ship. A torrent of green and white water broke over the ship. My head smashed into the wheel and I was aware of flying overboard and sinking below the waves. Nobody could control it. I accepted my approaching that and I was losing consciousness. I felt quite peaceful. Uh, everything is lost. I'm going to die. Unexpectedly, my head dropped out of the water. A 
a few meters away, wave walker was near capsizing. See, turning upside down. Her mass, her mass almost horizontal. This is the mass of the wave walker. Then the, the system vertical, this mass became in this way, horizontal. It's, so imagine, lost control of everything. Okay, horizontal. Then a wave hurled her upright. Hurled her to control her like this. Hurled her upright. My lifeline jerked taut. My uh, tight, just the tight. Lifeline, I was, that became tight again. Then a wave held her upright, lifeline jack, jumped and uh, tapped. I grabbed the guard rails and sailed through the air into wave walker's main boom. Boom means main port. I mean, sailing through the air, no why. Subsequent waves tossed me around the deck like a rag door. My left ribs cracked. Left this cracked. My mouth um, filled with blood and broken teeth. Then somehow I found the wheel. A steering wheel. And uh, lined up the stem for the next wave and hung on. So managed to get then hanging on the water, water everywhere. So where he stopped for the time being, January 2nd, 1977, the disaster. It was impending disaster, now it is disaster. They are in disaster. Water, water everywhere. By timing, but before that, speak not in public, gather not in public, wander not in public, entertain not in public to protect our private life. See you again. Have a nice time. Enjoy your life.